everyone, welcome back to more Palm API shenanigans with Linda. And as always, I would be Linda. This is actually the first app that I created using Palm. And it's actually one that I tried to create several years ago using Dialogflow. I never managed to get that to work like I wanted it to. So I basically gave up on the project like we all do and it's sitting in a corner probably on GitHub somewhere if I know me. But the idea was that I wanted to be able to write requests in natural language to extract data from Google Analytics and then display it in a chart. Makes sense, sounds nice, doesn't it? So I want to be able to write, show me the active users by event count for uh, my Google Analytics property from June until August. Something along those lines. Really simple, nothing drastic. Um, I could also do show me the active users by country for the last month. And then have it just display it for me in a chart. And I think it would be it, it, it would be kind of useful, I think. Uh, it would definitely be a lot of fun. And I've seen a lot of people that have issues trying to extract out what they want. So I, I thought this could be useful. So when I tried to do it with Palm, I found it a lot easier than it was with Dialogflow. It only took me about two hours to get a prompt working. As you probably know, Palm API is the API that gives us access to the LLM behind BARD. It lets me write in natural language requests, and then I can have it export it into JSON. Amazing, isn't it? So let's, let's try it, and you can actually see it working. So this is, this is the first one. This is the one that I've already done. And if I hit run, it will go ahead and it extracts the data out of Google Analytics and then it rebuilds it. All right. But what if, what if I wanted to change this? So um, I would like to see country by active users for June So I would like to see country by active users for June of this year. Now I haven't given a date, remember? I just said June of this year. So it's going to have to go in and figure out where June is because it's going to have to give me the start and the end date that I need for my Google Analytics request, right? So if we go ahead and run this, it went and found all the data from Google Analytics. This is all the data from Google Analytics. Right now I have it stopping at, I think, 10, 10 or 11 rows, I think, 10 rows. So because I don't want a lot of data. Some of these requests can return thousands of rows, but for displaying charts, I don't want more than 10 rows. So I've got it defaulting to 10. And there, it went ahead and built me my, my graph as well, which is really cool. So what if I say for, and now it, figured, it obviously figured out the date. Now I've got some debugging code here so that you can actually see what Palm API returned to me. Palm API found my property ID. It found the start and the end date being, I wanted to see June of this year, and it's 2023. It's a June 1st until June 30th. And then it gave me the country and active users. So it already figured it out for me. So now that you've seen this running, I bet you probably want to see some of the code. I'm going to share the prompt in a gist like I did with the last, with the fire example, so that you can actually try the gist. If you have access to Maker Suite, you can go ahead and try it. But let's, let's look at a bit of the code, okay? Google Analytics stuff. 
Now this is where things get a little bit fancy. This is mostly the basic Google Analytics sample for, um, for Google Sheets. It's, you, you can add it, they've got a library for it, it works great, no problems. Um, so it basically, basically I go in and I send it the request data from Palm and then I use that to build my metrics and my dimensions and I use basically use it to build the report. So depending upon how many metrics and dimensions you return, it adds each one and it adds the new date range and it adds the property ID. It just goes in and adds all that. Then when it runs, it parses all of the date, the report back into something that can be pushed over to a Google sheet afterwards. So get the API key. I'm, I'm logging my key, probably shouldn't be logging my key right now, but anyways. So I go ahead and read the prompt, I get the date. This is the actual code for Palm. Right now there's no library for Palm. So I had to do this manually using URL fetch, which works fine. It's no, no issues, works perfectly fine. Um, this is the actual payload that I'm sending. Um, I'm not sure why I'm sending two candidates. I probably don't need two candidates, I'll probably go with one. But I just go in with the prompt and it, it's the data and the content type and the payload and all that. And then I send the request over to the API and then I wait for it to return it. Now, you, I had to clean some of the code because it, it adds some extra stuff into it. So I had to do a clean on the JSON before I could parse it. And then once I parse it, I send it over to Google Analytics, the code I already showed you, and then I send it over to the refresh chart code. And that's it, it just writes it back and forth. The code for Palm, like I said, is, is very simple. It's, there's not much to it. You have your prompt. I'm, I, I guess I'm using the version two right now. So the prompt that I'm sending has a couple of replaces in here and that's where things get interesting because I'm actually replacing the date, I'm replacing the dimensions and metrics, and then the prompt itself, right? So this is what the user sent and then I can replace the dimensions and metrics and I re can replace the, I made a whole bunch of uh, basic uh, things that I can set in there and change it because I was changing how I wanted the JSON to look. So basically the JSON it returns is just a property ID, a start date, why is it eight, there, date. Start date, end date, and then dimensions and the metrics that it returns them as an array of strings. And it works very nicely. Um, so that's that's all you need to do to send this to Palm. Um, it's very similar to the uh, code for there. I have a I have a test example that I can um, I can post up on a gist as well if you want to try using um, Palm with um, App Script, you can. Um, as long as you have an API key, you can use um, Palm with, uh, with App Script. It works, works perfectly well. So that's pretty much the size of it. Um, if I can clean this up I, and if I can figure out how to release an App Script as open source, I will. Um, I don't know enough about App Script and how to release something like that open source. Um, and I'd rather not, I, I suppose I could, you know, put it up on GitHub. Um, if I export each one of the files, I guess you can do it that way. But if anybody knows how to uh, open source a app script, sh you know, please, by all means, let me know, and I will go ahead and do it. Um, but this was just a short video. I just wanted to show you how to do it and that it was possible. I have three other apps that I've written that do stuff like this with Palm that I'm going to be putting out videos on shortly. Um, they are both using Node.js web apps. Um, one of them is actually a calorie counter. You type in what you ate and it tells you what calories. Um, and I thought that was pretty cool. I'm uh, tempted to hook that up to Google Sheets as well so that you could store your daily calorie count in your Google Sheet. I don't know if anybody would want to do that. 
And then I have another one, which is also a web app that I'm working on a uh, shopping list because I'm really bad at keeping my shopping list. So I thought maybe if I had a web app, I could store my shopping shopping list. Maybe I'd do, I'd do it that way if I could just write down. I need apples and, and pears and bananas and chocolate. I need chocolate. Um, just it, that, that could be fun too. So I guess that's, that's it for today. And I hope you enjoyed this and uh, I hope you got a little bit of information and a taste of what you can build with Palm API if you put your mind to it because it's really nice. Um, and we can build a lot of really nice apps in the future. I can't wait to see what people are going to be putting out. So I hope you have a nice day. And as always, like and subscribe because it really helps out the channel. Um, I'm trying to get more people on, on the channel and seeing these videos because uh, I think we can help more people um, 